what would you say to entrepreneurs about the need to swing for the fences with these fund sizes? Is it something that structurally the industry has just moved too far to this expectation that, hey, if it's not multi-billion dollar, then it's not worth it? When I started Graycroft, specifically in our first presentation, Pitch Deck, it said we're looking for small investments and we're looking at realistic outcomes that don't depend on a public market and that can make money at $100 million or $200 million that don't require a billion-dollar exit. So many larger-sized funds, there is inclination, not a necessity, to put larger amounts of money into a deal and to shoot for higher outcomes. I don't think necessarily that it's going to work that way, but based on some of the valuations that have occurred, if they don't have that kind of outcome, they're going to have a lot of long holding periods and very short outcomes.